Almost everyone likes chocolate. It's a treat that we reach for in moments of joy and a go-to comfort food in times of sadness. But the production of chocolate is often unsustainable and monoculture cocoa farms now fight disease, drought and degrading soil conditions. The Republic of Ghana is the second largest cocoa producer globally, producing about 800,000 tons of cocoa beans annually. Cocoa is the mainstay of the agricultural sector of Ghana accounting for about one-third of the country's export revenue. I'm interested in researching dynamic agroforestry as a new way of producing cocoa, which is more sustainable, and also can create healthy farms that are good for the soil and for the environment, at the same time being a very attractive source of income and livelihood for the farmers. In my research, I compared the growing conditions and the microclimate of the dynamic agroforestry versus the traditional farming. And I also talked to a lot of farmers, hundreds of them, in terms of how profitable it is for them and whether or not they might adopt the agroforestry and why. I find uh, better growing conditions in dynamic agroforestry in terms of uh, higher soil moisture and also lower soil temperature and better temperature regime above the ground which has led to the cocoa trees in the dynamic agroforestry having a better survival rate and also growing more vigorously. However, the plots I was using for my research are rather young. They were planted in 2018, meaning they are three years old. So I think it will take a bit more time before we really know whether dynamic agroforestry will pay off. Furthermore, dynamic agroforestry is more labor intensive and therefore needs more of a higher investment at the beginning. However, because it's such a diversified approach, it can be a very stable and long-term income for the farmers with a range of different products over the time. We have been following the work of Christian very keenly because it is of much importance to us. Presently, out of the 100,000 farmers we have, about 400 are directly engaged in the first part of the project. And then we anticipate that in the next 10 years, we should have about 50% of our farmers who are about 50,000 in number doing dynamic agroforestry. We see this uh, Sankofa or dynamic agroforestry project as the perfect cure of our environmental issues that confront us. Dynamic agroforestry can solve the sustainability issue of cocoa production and potentially impact the lives of millions of smallholder cocoa farmers. But of course, this will need a long-term sincere commitment from the government to make such big programs possible. If this is done at scale, we can continue to enjoy our much beloved chocolate with the additional sweetness of contributing to healthy, sustainable farms and the livelihoods of a lot of farmers. <laughs>